Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to week one of the PPL Season 3 Pokemon Draft League. I'm Q, the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragapults, and today we're going to be taking on Druby, coach of the New York Marauders. Druby's team consists of a lot of really good defensive Pokemon, as well as screens and the Ninetales, paired with setup threats like Calm Mind Latias, Shell Smash Torterra, and Bulk Up Fire Tauros just to name a few. That paired with one of the best hazard stacking cores in the game in Hisuian Samurott and Glamora, as well as an insane offensive threat in Mamoswine. If I allow Druby to get all his hazards up, it will not end well for us. So our game plan is centered around not allowing that to happen as well as keeping up the offensive pressure so none of his setup threats get away with it for free. We've got Brick Break on two of our Pokemon, so screens won't be staying up for too long. Our defensive core is centered around Hitmontop and Petrarunt being a blanket check to Juby's physical attackers, as well as checking a lot of his defensive core. We also have Assault Vest Araquanid checking his main special attacking threats in Latias and Asuian Electrode. We actually have enough investment in our Araquanid to be able to live multiple hits from Latias, as well as a Specs Thunderbolt from Modest Asuian Electrode and Revenge with Leech Life on either of them, if not both of them. We're also rocking out with a Choice Scarf on both Landorus and Jirachi. Landorus EQ looks very good here offensively. Once we get rid of Latias and Choice Scarf, Jirachi can not only pick up the Oko on lead screens and Lola Ninetales, but it can also neutralize one of Druby's many setup threats by locking into a move thanks to tricking it a Choice Scarf. All of that to hopefully set up a Swords, Dancing, or Shifu endgame. That's the game plan. We have a work cut off for us here in Week 1, so let's see if our Chicago Dragapults can get it done. Alright y'all, here we are with our Week 1 battle here in the PPL. Of course... The Tornado Sirens had to start right now as soon as <laughs> we click search. Um, we're going against the homie Druby, a.k.a. I don't have anything. I didn't have anything planned. Uh, what? Did, he didn't bring Mamo. That's actually huge. He did bring all the defensive mods I was kind of worried about, but none of the offensive threats that I was that worried about. I'm actually very curious. It looks like it's going to be like a Latios thing. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get off of Jirachi. just makes the most sense. Uh, Flash Cannon is really good. Tricking something is also just really good. Uh, you turning on the Samu into Hitmontop is also really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see what happens, man. It's going to be a good one, Druby. I, I I watched Druby a lot back when uh, they had different channels. They went by a different name, you know what I'm saying? Really, really, really great person, man. If you guys haven't heard of Druby, go check them out, man. Really high energy, really great content creator. I'm sure I said all this in the intro. Regardless, he's our enemy right now. Fuck the respect. It goes out the window. Samurott, in fact, is leading off. Is it Scarf? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm clicking U-turn, baby, with my Jerichi. Um, Samurott Hisui. Uh, if they do decide to, like, raw Sucker Punch, I just want to check to see if that's worth. That's not going to kill me. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to U-turn. Orus 3 does a decent amount, but it's not going to do enough. Um, and I want to punish the Cecil's Edge, you know what I mean? They might spin block, which is perfectly fine, after I go into Hitmontop, but I think... They'll be less inclined to click flip turn after they click Cecil Sedge. So I think if they do end up trying to spin block, they'll go hard into Dust Clops rather than attempting to um, like flip turn into Dust, Clop into Dust Clops. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't care about uh, Samurai getting chipped, but I, I feel like they might. I feel like they might. So let's we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing on this turn one into turn two. I'm kind of already thinking about turn two at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think for them, it's just like a pretty free ceaseless edge. Unless they want to flip turn, they definitely can. We do a decent amount of damage. That looks like it actually might be a little bit HP invested. Or defense invested, one of the two. Regardless, we're going into the triple tech homie. Um, and then I think I'm going to attempt to double into my Petra Rent. Let's see what they end up doing. We do get an attack drop, which is huge. Uh, they go for the knockoff, which is also okay. No spikes, amazing. They knock off my helmet. So now they actually might be a little inclined to um to what's it called to uh the flip turn but i don't know i do get mock punch it could still kill so i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to double in a petrant and get off a toxic uh they do withdraw which is huge i'm assuming actually this is there's no spin block necessary so but I, they, they still wanted to go dust claps which is completely understandable uh we're gonna be able to get our petrant in and then go for a shadow ball is what i'm gonna try to do malignant chain would be nice as well as toxic on this would also be nice um, but I don't want to allow the, um, the, uh, the ready steel to come in. Um, oh, I forgot parting shot on this set, but I couldn't fit it. So I'm pretty sure I decided on these four moves. I'm just going to click shadow ball. Let's see what they want to do. Uh, they might want to switch into their guy. And if that's the, the case, then we get some intel. They might want to tear immediately, which would also be nice, which would mean in the future we could, we could, uh, rapid spin on this. Um, so yeah, I almost... Almost low with the levels to 50 in the calc, but then I remembered, nope, that's not what's going on. Anyways, the Shadow Ball's not going to do a whole lot, especially if they're, like, Spadef invested. 
Um, but we'll see what, what ends up happening here uh, with the Dust Clops. I'm assuming they're going to want to switch. You know what I mean? I don't have rocks of any sort on my side, like, for me to put on their side. Um, so, like, I can't really punish switches, unfortunately. Like, I, I tried to fit rocks on the team. I actually was supposed to... <laughs> I forgot to, but I was supposed to switch... Um, What's his face last minute? But I did not. Anyways, I do go into ready steel, so we're going to be able to see what this is. We can't lower it to death because of clear body. Shout out to... Ready Steel is not shiny, but it's shining. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I can't lower it to death. That did fucking nothing. Uh, Reggie, Steel. They might try to go for rocks here. That looks like... Is that a... Le Let's see, what would that be at? 89? 89. Yeah, that looks like it did about max Spadef. So I completely see the vision. Uh, I'm going to go hard Araquanid because if they want a Toxic... Not Toxic. If they want a T-Wave or Stealth Rocks... This is the play. I'm gonna go into a rack with it. I'm gonna Terra. I'm gonna fucking hit a, hit a button. That's what I'm doing. Let's see what they end up doing. Big rack when it's coming in. Iron defense. Okay, folks, we've got a game. Uh, this is not gonna do a whole lot. I'm not gonna lie. We are pivoting. Shit. I should have went Jirachi. Um. Yeah, this is scary. I I, I have to trick this. I was low key hoping I could trick the Lottie. Um, but yeah, even at like plus, like at plus two, this liquidation is doing nothing. So <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to fuck with that. Holy shit. Um, this is why we have earth power on our Landorus, which was, was the move I was going to replace with stealth rocks. But then I was like, nah, I'm just going to keep it as is. Although it's not going to do that much to ready still, even though they are getting up the shenanigans. Um, but hopefully we can do some shit here. They do iron head. Amazing. Uh, I don't know why. Cause I'm a, I'm a water type. So that was a little weird. Uh, or sphere actually might just be the play instead. No, that does nothing. I'm just going to trick it. I'm just going to trick it. I feel like that's the best play. If they don't stay in, they don't stay in. That's perfect because that means they switch out. If they go Samurott, then that's whatever too. But it looks like we're tricking. What did that item that they have? Everybody wants to know, including me. They had a... Hold on. A Chesto Berry. Very adorable. As they go for a Bodhipressa. So they're locked into that and that did so much damage. Um, This is... Okay, I'm clicking Aura Sphere. I'm just going to get some chip. This ain't going to do a whole lot, but it's going to do enough. They're locked in a body press, and we got to find out. Is Landorus going to be enough for this? I don't have a, I don't have a Lottie switch in it. Well, it's, it's Arachnid, but I don't really have, like... I don't know. I was really hoping I could, like, neutralize Lottie by just tricking it a Choice Scarf. But holy shit, this Ready Seal is about to put in work work. Okay, so. It is plus two, body pressed up. This mon is clicking buttons, some might say. Oh, wait, it's locked in. What am I saying? Hello? <laughs> it's locked in a body. Why did I sack... I'm dumb. Why did I sack off Jirachi? <laughs> it's locked in a body press. Um, I could Toxic, but they could go Glim. But I don't care if they go Glim, but I just, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. If they end up going Lottie... It kind of sucks because Miss Ball just has a chance to like raw KO me, which is insane, honestly. Uh, so I kind of wish I'd have clicked Toxic. And they could also be sub, so. Uh, I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball though. Nothing really wants to switch into this besides Samurott. And I should outpace Samurott because I have max. I have, not max. What? I think I'm creeping it. I don't have max speed. But yeah, I'm creeping Samurott. Because I am base 88 and they are base 85. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, we're actually creeping a little bit more than Samurott. So we'll see what they want to do. Their choice locked. They can't, they can't really, they have to switch if they, you know, want to preserve this. But maybe they don't want to. Maybe they don't care. Jirachi's gone, so maybe they don't give a fuck. It makes sense. I get it. They do go into Lottie, which is huge. Unless it's weakness policy. But then that means it's not going to get an agility off. Let's find out. Big Shadow Ball coming in. Doing a decent amount of damage. It's not weakness policy. Is that? I know I'm not, like, offensively invested. But is that, like, AV? Is that like random AV or just max HP? No. Uh, it might, it might be a little HP invested. It might be a little HP invested. Can we get like a... Can we get an offensive Lottie, please? Instead of the Calm Mindset? Where is it? Let's... Sure, sure. Choice Scarf. Yeah. Um, yeah. Psychic does so much to me. Why? I want to know. Um, anyways. I'm just going to Shadow Ball again. I feel like I can always recover. In front of, um, speaking of recover, I feel like I, I can always recover in front of either Dust Clops or Ready Steel. Or even potentially Glim for that matter, because I'm faster, or I should be faster at least. Spadaf float, drop. 
No. I'm toxicing. I'm a toxic this time around. Oh, I should have malignant chained actually. That would have got chip and potentially confused them. But it's not a guaranteed poison. So toxic is. Um, so yeah. I don't care if they switch into ready steel, you know what I mean? Uh Latias being this decently low is nice. Knowing it has recover though is a little bit problematic because my Shifu's main way of dealing with it was gonna be Sucker Punch. So we'll see how that ends up uh fanning out. But honestly, now that the um oh perfect. Now that the um now that the uh ready steel can't really like do anything outside of click one move. Um something looks good and I forgot what it was. I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Oh but yeah, now oh look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Poison puppeteer, baby. Look at that. Okay. Um this also might be Resto Chest though, which would be kind of insane. I'm gonna go hard Iraq on it though. Cause I, I'm 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 meant to deal with like a plus one anything, even like a Draco. So let's go into Araquanid and maybe let's Terra. Just let's fucking just do it. I'm gonna click Leap's Life though, even if I do Terra. Only reason why I might want to Terra is just to like uh if rocks go up eventually to not get hit by those. Hit yourself. Tell us what you're working with. So close. Big Shadow Ball. Okay. Not gonna do that much. I don't think that did nothing. I'm literally going to get that all back with Leech Life. Let's see what they want to go into. Because they definitely aren't going to stay in here. There's just no shot. Um, Yeah, I'd be shocked if they wanted to stay in here. I'm going to Terra and Liquidation. I'd be... Yeah, I'd be genuinely surprised if they stayed in. If they stay in, then whatever. I, 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 but I, I'd be pretty surprised. I'm just going to click Liquidation. I feel like it's very free. If they want to go into like... Dustclops or Ready Steel will be able to gain intel on the Dustclops if they choose to go into that. And if they go into Ready Steel, I'm pretty sure I'd 2 KO. They probably outpace us now, but I'm not really scared of whatever moveset they have. Because if it's Iron Defense, assumed to be Rest because they were chest though. Body Press, like what would be the third move? like Or fourth move, I mean. Uh, Earthquake, because you'd have to hit the Petron, right? So, yeah, something like that. Or maybe even T-Wave. But yeah, I am. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Terra Water Liquidation, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to click the button. Yes, let's go. Who's getting it? Samurott dies, which would be amazing. Ready Steel dies, which would be amazing. Which it kind of sucks though, because I actually was attempting to utilize Ready Steel as setup fodder for a Shifu. So that's probably not happening anymore, unfortunately. Um, but maybe we can set up in front of uh the other guy. Dust clops, even though they get Will O Wisp and all that shit. Anyways, big Terra Water Liquidation coming in. Our first KO of the season going. Oh my god, it didn't kill. <laughs> well, we don't resist body press anymore, which is kind of funny. Um I actually don't want this to get weakened, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back in a Petra run, I think. Like there's Scarf, so they pro I, I don't know. Like they probably outpaced me, I would assume, with Scarf Ready Steel. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, they naturally outpace me anyway. So, yeah, they 100% outpace me with Scarf Ready Steel. Uh, I'm just going to go into Petron. If they want to click Earthquake, that's fine. It's not going to do that much to us. And then we can just fire off a Shadow Ball. <sighs> oh, man. That was funny. And, yeah. Keeping Arachnid healthy is very, very... Why do they keep clicking Iron Head? I'm so... I guess it, it was the only thing that was going to hit Petron if I switched into it. But I'm just... It's very curious. In front of Arachnid twice, they clicked Iron Head. As a water type. I don't know. Anyways... Uh, first blood goes to Petron, actually. <laughs> Not Araquanid. Sorry, Araquanid. I thought I thought it was going to you, brother. I really did. Um, I'm currently tying my hair in a bun because I'm nervous. <laughs> they do finally go into Samu. Um, I am... Do I kill? I feel... Man, I really hope I do. I don't think I do. Samu Rota. Hisui. Um, Malignant Chain is 42 to 50%. And they're like, they're like at 49. Damn. If I had like parting shot, I'd click it here. Um, I think what I'm going to do. Caesar said shouldn't kill me. I'm going to try for it. Come on. Get the roll, baby. Oh, so close. Poison? Poison? Confusion? Some might say. A little bit of confusion. A little bit of confusion. Maybe you hit yourself a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm asking for a lot here, but, you know, maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Just a little hit yourself. Hey, I'm so sorry, Drooby. I'm not sorry, actually, because, like, I wanted this to happen. But 
Shit, best case scenario for me, man. I, I, <laughs> that's kind of kind of best case scenario. Petron always sounds like it's farting, and it throws me off every time, no matter how many times I hear it. Um, but yeah, so uh, one big threat gone offensively, and one uh, defensive threat also gone. I feel like the Glamora might be Meteor Beam now, just because of like how they're playing this. If they go out into it now, it's 100% Meteor Beam, I think. I, I honestly don't know what else they would go out into, besides Lottie, of course. Um, but I've proven that I have the Arachnid. They do go Glim. This has to be Meteor Beam. <laughs> this has to be Meteor Beam, man. Um, this has to be Meteor Beam. Does a plus one Meteor Beam kill Landorus? Because I want to go hard Landorus. Let's look at what we need here. I don't think we need... Hitmontop anymore. I'm going to go Hitmontop. If, we go, if they go Meteor Beam... We'll resist it. If they rock polish, I'll just close combat in a mock punch, I think. See what they end up doing. I think it's going to be Meteor Beam. Let's see. Intimidate drop. Huge. Power jam. Perfect. Perfect. Literally perfect. Genuinely couldn't have asked for it. If they want to go Dust Clops, I'm cool with it, man. I, I honestly don't care. I'm clicking close combat. Like, I, I can't. I'm not making this double. I can't risk Petron like that, I don't think. I still. I think I still need it. Not need it, but I still want it for Dust Clops, of course. And as well as... uh. Nine tails. Low key, this was my this is my brick breaker though. So I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie, a little scared. Let's see what they do. They withdraw, so they're gonna probably go into dust clops, which is fine. I think that's okay. Yeah, they go dust clops. Perfectly fine. Um probably should have just kept the momentum up and you know played aggressively, but it, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Uh but yeah, I uh, don't necessarily care. About Petron getting like T waved or whatever, like whatever they want to do, like Willowist, like whatever they want to do here. I'm just gonna click Toxic on the following turn. Actually, no, I might just click Shadow Ball. I might just click Shadow Ball. But yeah, I don't know, man. That that Glim is still it's still screaming Meteor Beam to me. I know it clicked Power Gem, but I feel like it's still it's still screaming Meteor Beam to me just a little bit. They do Terrestrialize, which is huge. Is it gonna be Fairy? I don't remember the other types. I just assume it's gonna be Fairy. Let's find out. It is going to be very huge. Guess who's super effective against it now? Me. <laughs> Petra. Let's see what they clicked here. I'm not too worried about like a ghost move. Oh. Okay, I see you, big dog. That's okay. Bro's going for set up the team. But he didn't get up screens yet. So that's like a-okay. I'm going to click Malignant Chain because it's very free. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot to this, but let's find out. Petra runs. With Dust Clops. Dust Clops. I assume it is going to be Spadef because it's Curse. That's really cool though. Changing your typing and then actually getting a Curse off is hilarious. Um, Probably should have Toxic instead of Malignant Chain. But this does 4 hit KO. <laughs> if they're Max Spadef. And if they're no Spadef. Which I, I, they're definitely Max Spadef. But if they're no Spadef then it's a 3 hit KO. So I'm going to click Malignant Chain. And they could always hit themselves. You know they could always do some stuff. So... Uh, we're going to click Malignant Chain. And see what they want to do. Man. I am ner I'm still nervous, man. Like, like, oh man. Like, just... I feel, battling someone for the first time, especially someone you've, like, watched a lot of their content, like, back in the day. Like, man. It's, it's, it's nerve-wracking. For sure. You want to put on a good show. Okay, they go Glim. That's fine. I'm not too concerned. Like I said, I'm pretty prepared to sack off my, uh, I'm pretty prepared to sack off my, uh, my hip on top here. You know what I mean? I feel like I, I can get by the screens eventually. I'm just going to keep spamming close combat. And if they do, like, they get up a T-spike after I close combat, of course, I can pretty freely just, um, bring Petron back in and absorb it. You know what I mean? So I'm not that concerned with it. Plus we have Landers. Uh... And as soon as we get rid of that Lottie, Earthquake is super dummy <gasps> free. Wait, no, I have Brickquake on Landorus too. I forgot. So yeah, no more Ghost type, which is huge. I was actually... Oh man, I'm dying here. I was actually fully expecting... um, Like, mad hazard stacking in this game. So I'm actually very, very happy to see that that's not how it's going. They do go for the Earth Power, which is very smart. Um, I think I'm just going to click close combat. I don't necessarily need, like, damage on this. Um, and, and so I don't want to mock punch, right? Like, that's just a little bit of chip, and it just forces me to go Petron at some point. I kind of would rather just, uh, 
do this and then bring Landorus in and then make a play from there. I, I will just Earthquake because I'm really not concerned with Lottie coming in because it's toxic. And we have we still have a rack with it, and once it comes back in, we literally just like click a button with uh with what's it called. So yeah, they're just gonna stay in and click Earth Power, it's perfectly fine. I'm actually curious how much a rack when it does to Dust Clops. It's a two week KO. If they're just max HP, no fist up. Um, so I guess I could go you. And no, you could have Dazzling Gleam. Yeah. I'm gonna go Landorus. Does Earth Power kill? I feel like it does, surely. Uh, Landorus versus Glim. Glimora, not Glimet, you freaking... What are you guys doing? Uh, Earth Power does, in fact, kill. The question is, do they stay in? I think I'm just gonna click it just to click it. And see what happens. They do withdraw. Okay, I mean, to be expected, but like I said, I... I wasn't... I'm not worried about Lottie coming in. So they're getting, they're getting a few plays right. Which, which is definitely keeping them in this game. Because, uh, man, if I made that double with uh, into the Dust Clops, I think Petron would have just got another kill. Alright, or at least we can Glim a little bit. But yeah, this is Poisoned. They can totally click what's it called. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to go Iraq with it. I'm going to click what's essentially Choice Band Liquidation at the moment. <laughs> Choice Band plus Mystic Water, because we're Terran. And it's going to be pretty free. So let's see what they do. They might hard switch, which would be pretty cool. Be a nice play. But let's see what they end up doing. If that's the case, I mean, Lottie is just still weakened, which is great. There you go. Yeah, recovers fine too. Recovers fine too. Um, I'm just gonna click liquidation. I don't think they want to stay in. That did heal the Lottie, which is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, I'm gonna click liquidation. If they stay in, they stay in. I can leech life on the following turn, but I just want to see what's going on here. I think Liquidation gives me more. Like, it it, it it does more for me, in my opinion. Gets a kill on uh, anything that wants to switch in. And, um, yeah, that's that's really all. That's really it. <laughs> that's kind of just it. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens. They do just stay in, which is kind of insane, but it's all good. I, I understand. Shadow Ball once again doing absolutely zero. That's crazy, though, because Leech Life Loki could have killed. Oh my god, look how much that did. I'm clicking it again. That was a crit. Never mind. I'm I'm clicking it again. <laughs> Wait, did it die? <laughs> it does. Earthquake free, baby. Let's go. Not really that free because there is still like, you know, there's a... What's that called? There's a Ninetales who gets, like, who gets a defense raise in the snow. There's a Dusclops who's very tanky. You know what I mean? It's not free, you know, but it is freer than it was two turns ago. So yeah, you'll love to see that. Critting a Rakuen. I'm getting very lucky in this game. I'll be the first to admit that, right? You know, the, the, the Confusion hitting themselves with Semurat to prevent potential... I assume they click Ceaseless Edge there. Um, as well as uh, getting that crit just now on the Lottie. Although, I would have just, you know, Leech Life the following turn. But still, it's the it's the principle, I think. Because they could have they could have potentially made a different play after that. You know what I mean? Like, they could have potentially went into, thing, into a Dust Clops, assuming I... Uh, assuming I Bug Move, and then they resist it, and then they, you know, they get a potential uh, turn up on me. Uh, regardless, let's see what they end up doing here, because now it's just it's just Nine Tails, Cursed Dust Clops, and we've only seen Power Gem on the Glim. We've seen nothing else on the Glim. So what I think whatever comes in, I I just stay in and I click Liquidation. I think, me personally, yeah, they go Glim. I I'm fine with this. I am clicking Liquidation. I'm clicking Liquidation. Power Gem ain't gonna do nothing. AV Araquanid tanking every hit in the fucking game, which is insano. We're going to keep Petron alive for the um, Dust Clops because we, I think we genuinely 1v1 it because of Toxic, right? So that, that should be like a given. Um, and then the... I, I, I assume they go Ninetales now. I'm just going to stay in. Like, even if they get up, like, screens, like, I'm okay with it. They go Dust Clops. Like, I'm, I'm cool with this too. I, I'm just going to stay in as well. So I think Petra might clean up this game. They found my assault vest. Look at them hands. Them hands are meant for frisking. All right, liquidation. They should do it. They should do it at bare minimum 50% if they're just max HP. If they have some fizz def, then it's not going to do as much. Um, let's see what they end up doing. Does those cops get recover? I feel like oh wow, so they have a little bit of the fizz def. I was going to say defense drop for the one time. Okay, I don't know what. I guess a plus one like 
ghost move against my Petra might be pretty problematic. Um, we still have you as well. Petron is very, very, like, needed. But I'm gonna... Do I just stay in? I think I just... I might just stay in. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in, actually. Because I don't want them to, like, poltergeist here. You know what I mean? I'd rather just potentially get a defense drop. Pain split. I'm pretty low, I think. Okay. They have, like, base 40 HP. So, like, they're still gonna get a decent amount back. But, yeah, I'm just gonna keep liquidating. I'm not gonna go into a full, like, a, uh, you know, more HP mon. I'm just going to keep liquidating. I think, like I said, I think Petron clutches here, potentially. Uh, as long as I get this in range, of course. Uh, they go for Shadow Sneak. What is the set, brother? I gotta know. What is the set? Alright, Terra Fairy. Big damage. Um, Yeah, they're in range of everything now, so yeah, I'm just going to keep hitting it. Um, The, the plus one Shadow Sneak... Might put Petron in range of a Nine Tails hit. Never mind. Uh, I think it's gonna die here. And the Nine Tails, in theory, can't really do anything. It could get up screens, but it's all too late. It might be Scarf. Um, it might be Nasty Plot. You know what I mean? Like I have no idea. They didn't. They didn't use it early. That's for damn sure. So I don't know what to expect. I think a Scarf set is like the only set that would be very scary because like Scarf Blizzard is always an end game win condition. You know what I mean? Because it can freeze. Not kind of wood. It can freeze. So let's see what they click here. They have to click Blizzard now after Scarfed. Um, and let's see what let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. I am gonna click, just gonna click Liquidation. This is where Cut Stat Barry would have been super dope, but Assault Vest is what allowed us to live this long. So Assault Vest or Aquanet was definitely the play. I'm glad I decided to do that. They do go for Blizzard. Oh man, that's Scarf Blizzard, bro. That's Scarf Blizzard, bro. Come on, don't do this to me. Not like this. Not like this video game. Nine tails. Alola. Oh man. Okay. Zero, 225, 252 with Blizzard. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, two Petrarunt. Okay. It doesn't kill. I want to see if they're scarfed. So I kind of want to. Does the Searcher Shifu die? No. But it doesn't move last, obviously. I'm gonna go Petrant because as long as I live, he words as long as I live. I don't think Malignant Chain kills though. No, it definitely doesn't. Um, I probably should recover at least once, but no, I'm just gonna Malignant Chain and hope I don't get fucking frozen by Blizzard. They they would deserve they deserve to get this freeze honestly because I kind of hacks them a little bit like in this game for sure. Like the RNG's definitely been in my favor, so we'll see what happens here. I really hope it doesn't happen. Thank you. Thank you. There is a god. Let's go. Can we get the poison too for the one time? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Um. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna look at the chain again. And then we're gonna go into a Shifu. Because I assume I'm honestly assuming there's Scarf. And I'm just gonna sucker punch to well, I guess that doesn't really scout Scarf. If there's Scarf, well no. Because that means Blizzard won't kill. And then Earthquake will finish it off. If it's not Scarf. Oh man, I'm scared here. I'm actually scared in this endgame. How do I lose this, is my question. I feel like it's Scarf Blizzard. Let's find out. I feel like it's Scarf Blizzard. If it's not, and they like Nasty Plot on my Sucker, then, then we're fine. <sighs> so sucker punching twice should finish the job. Okay, big damage. Blizzard, there's scarf blizzard. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What was that? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like what was that? What, did I have a snowball? Like what was this? I think sucker punch should kill. I hope so. Oh my god, that was so close, bro. Dude, oh my god, what a what a game for week one. Almost 30 minute battle. Holy crap. Dude, shout out to the homie Druby. Oh my god, what a battle. Like I said, I apologize for the for the little bit of hacks I got there. You definitely deserve to get one of those blizzard freezes uh in that end game because you, you would have won. I think that was Scarf Blizzard, and you would have won. 
Um, but yeah, man, really, really, really great battle. Once again, go check the homie Juby out. Your Chicago Dragapults are 1-0 to start the season. You'll love to see it. Uh, with that being said, guys, if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you do. Make sure you go check out all the other opponents. Links to the channel. All the other opponents. All the other coaches in the PPL. Links to the channels in the description down below. And we'll see you all in the next one, man. Man, oh, that was so sick. See you all in the next one. Peace.